Okay, for those of you who are trying to increase or do McKenzie extensions, lumbar spine extension, range of movement, and you're struggling with the range, so meaning, if you show me an extension, Pam, if you're trying to bend here and extend here, maybe it's a, for a disc problem, maybe it's just to try to improve your extension, and if you're struggling with Get, and say you only get to there, and it feels tight in there. And when you go further, your pelvis lifts off. Okay, I'm going to give you some exercise or some tips to try and change this a bit to try and improve how much you've been there to try and get rid of some of that stiffness in there. Now, if your problem is the one side that can be, if you saw that, what I want you to try and do first is try and release some of the muscle tension and tightness in there using a trigger point ball. Now, this is in the clinic. We try and get you, you know, loosening up that soft tissue, soft tissue massage, release work, mobilization work, to try and improve the range so then they can do that at home, they can do their stretches a little bit better. So when we do treatment in the clinic, we've got to try and get you doing some sort of stuff at home as well. So again, it's like replicating what we do in the clinic the best we can for you at home. Use one of these. This is a lacrosse trigger point ball. If you haven't got one of these, get them. They're awesome. Have a line on your back for me, Pam. What we're going to try and do is get her using that in the muscle tissue at the same level of the lumbar spine where she's got the stiffness. So what I mean by that, to say this is pain here, when you feel in your lower back, she's gonna aim for being above this bony point at the front, at the back, okay? The PSIS, this bone is gonna be above that in the soft tissue. She's not gonna be on the midline bone putting on a point where you feel it's bone there or bone there. The muscle tissue that is tight is here. So she's gonna put the ball right in that spot, if I can grab that for me, it's gonna be like there, okay? So for her, we're gonna do her right hand side. She's gonna put it around the back there, feel for where the bony points are, and put it right in that middle part where the muscle is, okay? She should feel like it's muscular. Now, if she lies back on that, because of the she should be able to have it there on the you can see it there, all right? It's on the left hand side of her lower back, all right? It's not down the pelvis, not too high. Now, at this point, she would have feel a little bit of pressure there. Right? What she's going to do is dig in her heels a little bit and do a slight little posterior tilt here, almost like the start of a bridge, like lifting her hips off the floor, until she feels that ball kick into her lower back. And that's like me my elbow or dropping my palm into those muscles, the same sort of thing. Again, one of the best ways you can replicate my work at home is get a bit of this done. Now she can sort of go back and forth with her tilt, so let it back it off, and then she can do a power tilt, bring it on, and work out how much she needs to do. Just be careful you don't do so much that you're getting referral down your leg too much, that's sort of nervy, that doesn't feel muscular, uh, but this sort of work should be a good release feeling pain, not a bad one, all right? So that's a really good way of sort of replicating what I do. Again, try and do both sides with that. Obviously focus on the tighter side, and that's gonna give you that muscular release that I need you to do before you start doing all your extension stretches. Now, second thing, take that away. If we go back into that extension stretch, the first thing I need you to do is what we call an overpressure stretch. So like I said before, sometimes people, if they're very stiff here, They'll either not move at that section, okay, and therefore the body will then move further up. So they tend to sort of like, if this is below, will then bend and curve further up. And you might find, oh, that's me. I, I feel like I'm bending higher up and not bending low enough. Um, the other thing that happens is the pelvis then rises off because the body will move at the point of least resistance. So what we're going to do is choose our trusty old towel. And I imagine you've got one of these at home. This one, again, it'll require a partner. So you will need, this is you, you will need someone like me, which is gonna be your spouse or your friend or your partner to do the job. Good thing about it, it's really easy. So all they're gonna do is put the bath towel or beach towel over the top of the hips or the pelvis, so not your lower back, all right? Over the pelvis, over the bony point, because that's what you're gonna keep down. You're gonna bend. We're trying to get this section looser, so we're putting the, pal the towel over that section, okay? Over the back of the hips. So when I lock that down, and you have to do the standing, I'm gonna stand either side of that, and that'll keep her pelvis down. What it'll force 
it to do is bend here because I'm keeping this down. So she will feel more of a stretch lower down than she did before. So where you go again for me, Pam. So if you watch this, okay, she's going to bend way more here and get way more stretch there, which is what she needs to get her extension a bit better. And then she comes down again. Now, again, with all McKenzie extensions, it's the same reps and sets. So she's going to wait for two seconds down, push up again for me, Pam. She'll come up, stretch for two seconds, try and relax here so she can stretch there, and this keeps her pelvis locked into the ground, all right? And that'll, over time, give her more and more stretch here, so she won't have to compensate up further up, and she won't have to bend there, which is pretty common stuff, okay? So the same reps and sets, you know, to get 10 done, maybe two, maybe three sets of that, till you feel like you're a little bit looser. What you'll notice, once well, you've done this one, is when you take the towel away, when she goes again, one, it'll feel looser, but two, she'll have better range. Okay, so number three is in addition to number two, but also if you haven't got a partner at home, then you'll have to do this at home like this. If you look at her extension when she stands, what happens is, if you go backwards for me, Pam, she extends and then she gets to the point where she can't really go any further. One, it's a bit tight, but two, she's gonna fall over if she, if she goes any further. So there's a, there's a limit on how far she can go with that. So to try and improve that extension range, you need something to lean on. So for Pam, what we're gonna do is lean on our treatment table. Now, if you're at home, this can be your countertop to your kitchen bench. You just gotta make sure there's no covers behind you gonna whack your head on. But we use a countertop because it's usually a sort of hip height. If you use a desk, it's too low, okay? So you need a countertop like this. Now, if you're a bit tall, and if any way I want you being a bit more stable, is you go feet wide and that'll drop you down a little bit more. So if her feet are wide, she'll feel more stable. She'll be able to lean on it. Now, with this one, what she's gonna before she leans back, she's got to lean into the bed, so she's weight bearing, she's trusting that bed, which drops some of that muscle guarding down and allows her to sort of go back a bit further. She's got to then trust that she's not going to fall over. She then has to use her abdominals, okay, to hold her as she goes backwards. And what that'll do is it'll guide her well, but she also uses those abdominals to bring her back, okay. And you can see she can instantly go further. Yes, she does extend the hips a little bit more, but she does that in standing. But you'll find that you get way more extension range as long as you can tolerate this than you do standing up okay and it's very similar to one lying down where you've got load the difference about this is this is active okay the one lying down with the towel is very passive all right which gives you a stretching range this will give you a functional range backwards so it's very important for people who do need to bend backwards like dancers and that sort of thing who need to use the abdominals they will get more functional range going this way the good thing about it too is if you use your abdominals and if you use a bit of pelvic floor, it'll stop some of the muscle guarding and pain at the back because you bring on the abdominals, the extensors in the back won't guard as much. And so you actually find, oh my God, I can bend backwards more if I use my abdominals and hey presto, there you go. So this is you know, one of the best ones to do um, for increasing your extension if you've got lost extension range, but trying those other two may help you on that journey to get to this point anyway. Hope that helps. See you next time.